This is a short video for Filipino women that are looking to date uh, foreign men. Um, first thing I'll say is the websites do work, the dating websites for open up lines of communication. But I will also say don't do anything you don't want to do and don't do things because somebody's telling you to do it. Uh, first thing we, well, secondly, decide why you want to meet a foreign guy and are you willing to commit to marriage do you have a boyfriend in the background or something that is still existing because you can't move forward if you've still got stuff going on in the background it just complicates things and creates a, a nightmare situation for everybody you have to be very clear what you want in life the next thing is if you're joining these websites be honest and spend time doing your own profile and stuff um, get somebody to help you with it but not write it for you they need to understand you as a person and also as a rounded individual and your expectations in life and you know be honest on there because if you're honest you've laid it out on the table you know at the end of the day you're not bagging somebody just because you wanted to grab whatever you can. You really need to take this thing seriously and look at how you want your life to progress. Do you want to go overseas? Put it in your profile. I want to go overseas, but also put it in the reason of why. Uh, not, oh, I want to go and work overseas because that that's not a reason for getting married but you know I want to travel the world with my new husband or whatever that's fine you know who doesn't want to travel the world uh, and when you get those guys that are naked and doing weird stuff on the net just report them to get them banned and thrown off the sites they're degrading for you guys um, but also, they have no place, they're immoral, and they're not the sort of people you want to be mixing with. Um, and I've seen, you know, I've seen, you know, having an internet cap, I've seen what some of these freaks do. And the joke being, I don't think they realize that they're actually live on camera in an internet cap doing things that they get up to. <laughs> um, so, just get them, get rid of them, don't entertain them, don't waste your time on them. And when you're looking for guys, do this talk on the camera no keyboards direct like this there's a reason for this it, also be aware of the times are a bit iffy if they only communicate in certain times of the day or whatever and have no flexibility on it because i know from things i've seen that there's guys out there that have um what do you call it they're married they're in a relationship already they do this because they have no communication line with their wives uh, or partners they you know like in the evening they will just sit at the keyboard having a drink and looking for somebody to talk to because they have no communication with their partner or maybe they're working shifts or whatever the point is there's a problem in their relationship but they're still in a relationship don't waste your time with those people um, if they were going to leave the relationship they would have done already but also if they're still in a relationship and then split there's the rebound issues and stuff it's not going to be good for you it's not good for them don't get involved in them and that's why these video conversations are more important than um, typing or texting or whatever you need to be visually and audio there with them um, and just take things a step at a time but be also be very clear what you want in life be very very clear what you want in life and it's not too much to ask for uh, even saying look I would love to go to college if I can afford it in the future because some guys will be like instantly turned off with that but I'll be honest with you a good guy would generally not be that offended by it because it actually shows you that you want to progress in life. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if you want to go to college and do a degree, or you want to travel, you want to—that's you. That—that's your 
you as a person. You're not asking them to pay for it. You're just telling them your direction in your life. If later on you get married and everything else, and then they say, okay, do you want to go to college now? Okay, that can work out. You know, the whole point is the communication. Because this is the important thing, and it's, it's missing from so many relationships. It's, it's just not funny. And also with the family issues. If you've got family issues, and the relationship's progressing with the person you're speaking to online, explain the family issues. But not in a give me money way, but just explain, look, I just want to talk about this because then there's nothing in the background, there's no surprises that could create an issue. Just want to talk about it, get out in the open, and that clears the air. If things progress to a, a marriage situation, you need to have all these things covered from day one and wor or working towards it so that there's nothing that's going to uh, create a problem in your life uh, as, you, as a married couple. Because a lot of the problems are things that people should have discussed previously, but when they happen and the guy doesn't, isn't aware of it, they can sometimes just switch off and they'll be gone like that because they feel betrayed that's why the communication has got to happen you've got to really talk to each other um, just say look I'm not asking for nothing I don't want anything but this is something you should be aware of um, just so that we understand each other fully and when you talk to the guy make sure he is giving you everything as well you know ask him what he does for a living where he works what problems he's having you know understand the person as a, a whole person because you need for them to be honest as well because it's the only way this works for everybody okay if you want to want me to do an ebook on this one um i could do an ebook as well um I've, i'm sure i've got plenty of women that will edit it for me and go through and add their bits as well to get their the uh, full perspective but I do think these videos are helpful for people because a lot of time people aren't aware how important the communication is. Thanks for watching.